at the outset, let me tell you, all debates are artificial. I don't think there is one against the other. I am absolutely sure Dr. Harshad does dual plating when needed. And I also do one plate when it is okay. So with that preamble, I feel all what we're trying to find out at the moment is debate is like this to be taken as when dual plating and when only one is okay. That's the only way we will learn out of that. If we debate, then probably we'll give you a wrong message, which is not right. But if in doubt, no compromise. It has to be double plating. Overkill is not a sin. If one non-union patient loses six months, two non-union, then one and a half year. Now here was the fracture. Surgeon did the leg screws, nice good plate. Nothing wrong in it. Only one plate is needed. You don't need two plates. I have nothing against this at all. Long, rigid fixation, leg screws, primary healing, everything will be fine. No debate. It's okay. But a community fracture like this. Debate is for this community fracture. This community fracture, again, the literature talks about do a single plate with multiple spare suits, uh, screws. That means in the proximal fragment, three alternate screws or four alternate screws. And this will give you a good result. We all know very well this is the way which we did it. We started it. Unfortunately, this doesn't succeed all the time. When the medial gap is more, the osteoporosis is more, these things do not work. This works very well when there is a communication. But in an adult, young man, when the communicated bones are all lying together, the elderly osteoporotic bones are crushed. That crushed bone, if it is there on the medial side, this will not work as well. This is what was recommended when the digital femur plate came. And this, I feel, is the cause of multiple non-unions distal femur we see again and again and again and again. People don't do alternate screws. They do an eight-hole plate, three, four screws continuously, proximally, distally. So that means it is not a micro-motion mode. You have to, one, there is a comminuted fracture, it has to be a micro-motion mode. So it has to be many screws distally and alternate screws proximally. That is what was a standard, which we all know. Now, even in 1975, we did this, not knowing that it heals like this with callus. You can see this is the old picture, which I have conserved it and kept it. Blade plate, we did it because there was no choice to do anything in between. Just because this was a comminuted fracture, there was nothing we could do. So all we did was this. We didn't know that time that the micro motion, the secondary healing will occur or anything, but this was the most practical way in which we treated. Now this fracture, pre-op, old infection, and that's the reason why you can see there was a gap here and four continuous screws. This is not going to function. This didn't function and it went on Two mistakes, plate not long enough with alternate few screws. If no compression and if the bone gap is there, it is not noticed by the surgeon. So obviously it failed and the only way out for that was a double plating. On day one, if the surgeon was wise enough, if he had done the double plating, the patient would have saved all his time which he spent in money, time, and energy. And with all these things, he gets a full range of movement. So why not on day one? It may be overkill at times, but this is the patient which goes through so much of agony. Imagine you and me, we had a fracture, went into non-union, and went again for a second surgery. I'll come down to the two or three doctors who went through that. That's the reason why I feel that not necessarily Overkill is a sin. If in doubt, go ahead and do a double plating. 
This was the fracture which I was really mesmerized by that single plate. I did a long plate, long available 14 hole plate with alternate screws into this sort of a communicated elderly person. It gave way. Plate still longer needed, but this was the longest available 14 hole plate. No more than this 14 hole plate was available. I feel if today if I was there, I would have put in a double plate there. This is what it was. Ultimately treated with a double plate, things became all right. Now here on day one, particularly this sort of a fracture, which gives you instability in the construct. Don't hesitate. Put in a double plate, one plate medially, two, three screws lower down, two screws higher up, slightly longish plate. It will work wonders. Don't hesitate about it. This was a fracture again. Long plate. May not be ideal, but on day one the surgeon felt that this sort of a combination in an elderly is not good enough. So he went ahead and did a double plating there. And that is the way he did it, salvage surgery afterwards. This was the first surgery, this was the second surgery. Same thing. Don't hesitate. Put in a second plate, you would have been fine. I agree. Alternate screws here would have worked often. Whether always, I'm not sure. Now this was the surgery on day one, distal femur. This was the piece which was there, which was giving you instability. And so that's the one on day one. Go ahead and do a long plate and the screws. That will be a better idea there. Again, a surgeon did this. Again, same thing. If you wanted to do a single plate, it had to be a long plate, 14-hole, 13-hole plate with alternate screws proximally. Didn't work. He did the second surgery of grafting. Didn't work. Plate broke down. Ultimately, I did this second surgery. If at all a first surgery like this could have worked. Or if he was keen, he could have put in a second plate. It would have worked equally well. And probably, statistically, more chance that he did a second plate here, it would have worked better. In elderly, I have a feeling when this was about 78 year old, this is the bone communion which is there. It went into non-union, non-union and you can see the bone gets absorbed, there is a medial gap. So the single alternate screws which I did it, I did it myself, I know it very well. Still it didn't heal up. Ultimately needed a bone graft medially. So I put in the bone graft medially and it healed up. Same thing on day one. If you put in a fibula medially in 78 year old, there is no point in taking a chance. Put in the fibula, put in a bone graft, put in one more plate. Things would have been perfectly all right. You don't have to play around just because of our wrong notion of a MIPPO plate into elderly osteoporotic crushed bone like this, which is not going to heal up. Now here I want to show this case. This is not my case, this is Dr. Babulkar's case. Day one, mini those leg screws and everything and he did the plate. Good surgery, ended up non-union. We conceptually feel that non-union should have a rigid surgery, a rigid fixation. So I don't know why. He did this fracture, non-union, he did this surgery. Two screws proximally, long plate, bone graft, and the damn thing healed up. I was very surprised. But still I am showing this case only because I think in a non-union setup, Dr. Shushrut Babulkar did this MIPPO plate. Not a MIPPO, because he had to remove the, all the plates and screws and everything. But he did a plate into this, this mode and a grafted, and things held up. In non-union also, non-rigid fixation worked, and I was most unpleasantly surprised. Still, I wouldn't have a guts to do it today. 
This was a fracture which I treated few days back. You can see the CT and you see the X-ray. This is a small piece on the lateral side. You can see this is the CT, small piece on the lateral side. You can see the small piece on the lateral side. So only lateral plate if you do here, primarily. There is no hold on the lower fragment. So this is the one which primarily I chose to do a double plating. And this is the only way in which you can treat such a fracture. So if you have, this is the fracture, you can see the small piece. These are all the small pieces. So if you do only, only one plate distally, there will be hardly any, up, any, any hold on the distal fragment. And that's the reason why I did this double plating and this worked out very well. And this is the one where I did it with the anterior approach. You do the anterior approach, MIPO for here, and approximately you'll have to put the screws, you can put the lateral plate, medial plate, do the intra-articular corrections and everything. That's how it works. I do this with the anterior, anterior approach as and when needed. So you can see this CT scan gives you a very good information into this fracture. All these are the CT scan pictures. You see this is another case. CT scan picture, you see badly comminuted fracture, went ahead. This is Dr. Despande, who has done this beautiful surgery, such a comminuted fracture. Day one, so one plate, double plate, fibula. Such a comminuted fracture, don't try to play around with the philosophy, which, which probably works, probably doesn't work. Did the double plating, things worked out very well for him. Periprosthetic fracture. These are the first one fracture where I feel fracture below the flare of the femur, which is going lower down. Single plating is contraindicated. You must do a double plating. Did a single plating, there is hardly any hold on the distal fragment and you can see it is moving. So at this stage, this is what is the x-ray. When you do a single plate, only one screw hold is there. This is not going to work. You can probably put in the screw here which will bite here with these fragments and all, but this is not the right this is not the right and safe procedure. So today to me, all periprosthetic fracture below the flare of the femur, primarily double plating is the one which is the answer. This non-union was treated by this double plating. This was the fracture, single plate, non-union completely. TKR was there, as you can see very well, osteoporotic lady. This is how it was. And I did this double plating, bone grafting, but you see the peculiar way. You see the space here. You see the space here. I had kept the total knee insert because this fracture. Now, if I go back again, this was badly commutated fracture in elderly, so bone crushing was there. So whenever I tried to get these bones together, there would be shortening of the bones. So I had kept this, I adjusted the distal fragment in a way so that it will be all right for the total knee. So I went ahead, removed the insert, put in a bigger insert, double plating, crafting, things became all right. Now here was the other colleague who did it. He sent me on phone. He did this uh, fracture neck of femur with the um, periprosthetic fracture. He had heard the nailing will work. But as you can see, the nailing is, is not holding the upper fra lower fragment at all. So he did the plating. That was also foolish because that is not holding the lower fragment at all. So ultimately, as you can see, what has happened is nail is not holding, the lateral plate is not holding. The only thing which will be holding will be the medial plate. So the medial plate was done and the things held up. On day one, on day one, with this fracture which is going way lower down the femur uh, flare, this I would have treated with a double plating on day one. 
medial void what are the current options this is such a big medial void doctors uh, dr kulkarni sunil kulkarni uses these enders in order to do on a primary basis and this is a very this is a very innovative treatment by dr mukhi he is such a bad comminuted fracture he uses a cage fills it up with the yellow graft uses this cage as a block and it works as a second plate it works as a spacer and it is worked beautiful in his hands and obviously we are all aware of this sort of a medial uh, fibula with the bone graft and the second plate we are all fully aware of the treatment of this no subtrochanteric no supracondylar fracture can be treated non union without double plating you always need a double plate for that so in conclusion long alternate proximally plating in a distal femur is a hit or a miss more so when the distal piece on the lateral side is small medial bone gap medial bone crush when in doubt do a double plating i don't dispute a single plate in a ideal situations will still work thank you very much Thank you.